In our effort to take advantage of all the things that New York has to offer, we consulted five experts from the city's beauty counters for advice on how to apply evening makeup. Luke Bouchard is here from MAC to show us how to apply evening lip color. Hello everybody, my name is Luke Bouchard, I'm from MAC Cosmetics, and um, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to do a beautiful lip, okay? So the first thing that we'll do is start with prep and prime. Prep and prime will allow you to change the texture of your lips a little bit and help the lipstick to uh, grip to the lip. Okay, the next step is going to be to use a pencil. We're going to line the lips and then smudge the line around the lips so that it defines the surroundings of the lips but it's not too definite around. I actually, I like to, you can do it directly, you know, you can use a pencil and just go around and frame the lips like this. Or you can use it, put it on your hand. If you're not as comfortable doing a line, maybe that's easier. Using a lip brush and just picking it up on your hand and then going back and doing the contour very softly. And the way she has her lips right now is perfect. Don't stretch your lips, don't pull them, don't try to change the shape, basically. Leave them as relaxed as possible. You'll have much better results. One thing also that's important, I think that to have something that's modern, you need to do something that's really sheer right now. I'm just going to put a bit of powder around, just because it's very warm in here, right? <laughs> and then we'll put a bit on the lips too. It will just help the lipstick to grip again. So this is a beautiful plum from the Barbie collection. <laughs> Using a lip brush obviously will help you to apply uh, less product and to have something that's more sheer, that looks more like it's the color of your lip. Because, you know, somehow I know this is not necessarily a color that, uh, you know, looks that natural, but it still has a natural tint. So I think it's very important to make it modern, to have something that's very, very sheer. And the lip brush will help that. You can also, if you want your lipstick to stay better, if you put, this is very sheer, very little uh, loose powder, and I'm just going back in between my steps so that the lipstick will stay better, right? Sheer coats of lipsticks, sheer coats of powder, and you can set it and then go back and have, until you have the color that you like. At this time, I'll just stop there with uh, the lipstick. I'll go with a little bit of lip gloss, also from the Barbie collection. <laughs> We start in the center and we just put a little bit of gloss, right? It gives a bit more color, a bit more intensity, and it adds shine as well. If you want your top lip to look a little bigger, fuller, there's one thing you can do. This is a cream color base. It's called Pearl, this one. But anything that's light and that has a little bit of shine. And we'll just go on top of the lip right here and I'll make it stronger so you can see it but it's basically just the cupid bow that you accentuate and this will make a big difference and it will make your lip, lip appear bigger or fuller okay so obviously you need to smooth this out and blend this out so that you just have a little bit of a sh more like a highlighted shine close to the cupid bow and that's it basically Simple, beautiful.